Okay, so I want to show the smooth camera plugin that I've been creating. So I've got just a free modeled town in this map here, and I'm going to turn on the plugin. So the purpose of this plugin is literally just to smooth out the inputs of the default camera controls. And so uh, basically it tries to replicate what the normal camera controls are as best as possible. So it has all the same controls you'd expect, plus support for game pads, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, just everything is a little more smooth. So if I kind of, you know, move the camera around really quickly, everything just kind of slowly fades into place. Um, so it, it just feels a lot better to move around your map with this. And there are a lot of settings here that I want to go over really quickly. So the total factor is just a multiplier for all the other factors. So if it's all the way down, it's going to kind of move really slowly. And all the way up, it'll move pretty quickly. The move factor affects the panning speed of the camera. So when it's really low, it moves very slowly and high, it moves really fast. Rotation factor similarly just adjusts the speed of rotation of the camera. So there's a slow mode and then up high it moves around really quickly. Zoom factor should probably be re relabeled as uh, scroll factor. So this affects how fast uh, the camera will move when you scroll. And the slow factor adjusts how slow things are when you hold shift. So this also is included on the default camera. When you hold shift, everything will move a little bit slower. And so this affects that as well. So right now it's pretty high, so everything's very slowly. And this is just a multiplier of these other factors as well. So when it's really low, there's not gonna be a big difference, but up high, there will be a huge difference in how slow it goes. And finally, we have smooth time. And this is literally the amount of time it takes to transition the camera from one position to another. Uh, so if it's really low, it's it's not gonna feel very smooth at all. Uh, there's still a little bit, but it, it's very, very minimal. Um, really high, it's, I think it's set to one second. So everything just moves around very, very fluidly, but it's definitely a little harder to control. So maybe if you're trying to record some like cool cinematics in your game, this would be really useful. All right, and then our other settings here, we have the mouse icon. This is disabled when you're just here in edit mode. Um, the reason for that is, as you can see, we just have a default mouse. Uh, the mouse icon uh, property within the user input service does not affect this actual mouse. It will only affect it if you're in uh, like run mode or like, uh, like play solo or whatever. Rotation limit, this is kind of a cool one. So by default, it locks the camera on the x-axis to 81 degrees up and down just like the default camera but if you turn that off you can actually rotate all the way around so I'm not sure why exactly you'd want to do that but I figured I might as well allow it um, as an option there and then last but not least we have allow gamepad um, so if that's on it will start pulling inputs from a connected gamepad as well uh, it'll still allow you to use your mouse and keyboard too um, but with the added allowance of being able to use a gamepad. And then we have reset defaults and that will just reset everything. So all of these will save and persist through studio instances or whatever. So um, yeah, that's all this is for now. Um, if you have any suggestions for this plugin or whatever, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll, I'll definitely consider anything that people uh, think should be added to this.